according to our EU-wide statistics, 22,700 people lost their lives on EU roads last year. It is fewer than in previous years and a historic low, but still an unacceptable number. Anything above zero is too much. I'm grateful to the European Federation of Road Traffic Victims for reminding us on Remembrance Day what road crashes mean for those affected. We must reflect today on the suffering of grieving families, on the courage of women, men and children who must live with physical or mental impairments after a crash, on the role of everyday heroes, bystanders who become lifesavers, emergency service and hospital staff, the police, and everyone involved in post-crash care. As you have done so often over the last 25 years, you give us all a strong push to remember, support, and act, as your slogan rightly says. Remembering is essential. It keeps us motivated to reach our goal of zero fatalities and serious injuries by 2050 on the European roads. This is what we fight for. We'll not stop until we get there. Support is vital for those hurt in accidents. For each road death, around five more people are seriously injured, often with lifelong consequences. That is why we have included a target on serious injury reduction in our upcoming mobility strategy. We'll continue to work across sectors to support emergency services and to improve post-crash care. But the most important thing is to act and have concrete measures to move things quicker towards our final goal of zero fatalities on the road. We are in the process of defining the exact requirements for the vehicle safety systems that recently became mandatory. We want to make sure that technology and especially life-saving systems like intelligent speed assistance and autonomous braking systems really live up to the expectations. We discuss how the EU rules on uh, roadworthiness and driving li licenses can support road safety more efficiently. We are working with the Member States on road safety key performance indicators to determine which measures work best to learn from each other in a spirit of constructive partnership. My deepest sympathy to all those who lost a loved one in a car accident, my support to the survivors and my appreciation for all those that took on our common mission to make the roads safer.